Well, hello everyone. I'm Yanni for Beau View Gaming, and today we're gonna play some Lens Island. So this is a building, farming, crafting game that also offers lots of exploration and uh, dungeon fights. I guess most, if not all, of the combat is in dungeons, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't watched any uh, gameplay of this, so I have no idea uh, what to expect aside from what little I've read on the Steam Store page. Uh, but it looks really good, the game, and it looks like it could be a lot of fun. So that's what we're going to find out, right? Uh, so uh, settings-wise, you can switch between mouse-based, which is the default, and WASD. I've set it to WASD because I prefer that for walking instead of using right mouse for moving. Um, and then, of course, you have some other settings here. You can adjust your graphics. You can adjust your audio. There is currently no uh, rebindable keys, but it is coming. They do have this nice little overview here of the latest news and links to the full patch notes. And as you can see, the game has just been updated on the 27th of January, so just a couple of days ago. And as it says here, key mapping support will be in very soon, within a week from now. So very soon you'll be able to remap uh, the controls in the game if you desire that um, but yeah let's just jump into this and see uh, if we can figure out how to play this um, hmm, okay so world name uh, I don't know if that matters in any way we're gonna call it Maximus there we go um, hmm. okay how do you control a len oh so you can still actually choose it here so controller is coming soon mouse is developer recommended uh, okay, well, I'm, I want to try with WASD. I don't know if you can switch to the other one later or something. I have no idea, but I prefer WASD generally, so that's what we're going to go with. Where is Lynn from? Yarrow Island, Singard City, Acacia Plains, or Gath Hinterlands? Hmm. Let's go with the Hinterlands. I don't know what this matters. Uh, what is Len's facial type? Let's go with feminine. Does Len wear shoes? No, let's say no. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. And then we can... Oh, that's the hair. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Maybe a bit of a long hair. What else do we have here? Uh, do, do, do. We do have like... Okay, I don't think I can rotate you. That looks a bit like a ponytail or something. Let's go with that. Let's choose this color and oh, we can choose to change the clothes around. I kind of like that. Mm, yeah, let's go with that and let's see. I think we can go with a lighter color or darker color. I think I like the light one, so let's just go with that one. And then we can change the t-shirt as well. Cool. Uh, yeah. Let's go with that and keep it white. That's fine. And then we can change the pants as well. Mm, I think I like these ones. And no, let's la leave them dark. Otherwise, it almost looks like a suit or something. That looks so weird. Let's go with this. <laughs> and say start game. Ooh, build a fireplace to keep warm at night. Okay. Uh, game saved. Aha. Okay, I think you can just save at any time you want. Save to menu or save and quit. So that is nice. I don't think you need to have a bed or anything right off the bat. But there are beds. I just don't quite know if they let you pass the night or if they're an extra way of saving or something. Okay, managing your hotbar and backpack. Drag unlocked items onto your hotbar to equip them. Or drag an item off your hotbar to Unequip it. Okay, any unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your chest for storage. Does that mean I have to come back here to pick them up? That's weird. So we don't have an actual actual inventory. All of your resources are accessible from your backpack at any time and do not require storage. Ooh, that's different. That is different. So can we just st store as much as we want? I uh, know there's probably a max. I think there's a max of how much you can carry of each type. Uh, food and farming. Equip food items by dragging them directly from your hot bag. Oh, from your back <laughs> backpack to your hot bar. Oh, man. Um, okay. Yes, yes. Cool. That's probably fine. So that's not a knife. Uh, this, 
uh, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Uh, okay. Well, is that not? That's what we already have there. It seems. And we have these already. We have them already down here. So I don't know why they're showing in here. Hmm. Yes, so that's my knife. Ooh, we can use the scroll wheel to move around. That's nice. I assume shift is... Oh, that's to roll. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, okay. So... Ooh, time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage. You can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to auto hit. Time your next swing when you see the crit circle expanding. Click during the crit window to trigger a critical hit, which apparently also goes for resources. Deal bonus damage for landing critical hits. So here it's shown for a tree, so I guess it goes for both animals and trees, but I just wanted... Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Try and, and double click there. Cool, cool, cool. So if I want... Oh, I have to get used to this. Oh, that's tricky. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's gonna take some practice to time that. I'm gonna keep forgetting that I need to do that. Oh, I already got an achievement. Getting wood. Nice. Okay, but I really like the graphics of this. It's really pretty. Um, let's see if we can get this. Oh, I did it again. There we go. Nice. And then, of course, we can mine some rocks as well. Okay, there we go. Kind of fits with whenever Lynn hits the rock, then you just, at the same time, you kind of have to click again. So that looked like some stone. Let's see what this is. Oh, I missed. Okay, so we got some more goodies from that. Uh, okay. So, inventory. Okay, that's tab. So, we have some wood. Woodlocks used for building, crafting, and repairing structures. Get them from chopping trees. We have some plant fibers found from gathering weeds, used for building hinges, joints, and decoration items. A clay, often found near embankments and cliffs, used to make pottery, roofing, and more. And then, of course, some stone. Used for building, repairing structures, and more. Found scattered around the island and inside the caves. It's kind of nice that it says where you can find things. That's cool. And yes, it stacks up to 150. I assume once you reach 150, you simply can't pick up more of that item unless you, until you use some of it. Um, then we have food and farming. Ooh, let's see. There's definitely lots of options. Apparently, we have to unlock some more. I don't know how you do that, but that's something to figure out. A wood frame farm. So we're going to need more wood and some more fibers for that. Definitely want to get a farm going. Bore well used as a water source for farming. Looks like we need, I don't know if that's gold and rocks and we need more fiber and... Okay, what is... Uh, it doesn't even show. Oh no, it's this one. Limestone. Okay, I thought it was gold, but here it's not actually that bright. Uh, okay, and then we have utility and storage as a workbench. Craft new items and access your tool chest. And skip the night, sleep in your bed. That's... Uh, that's red. <laughs> okay, so it is for skipping skipping the night. That's cool. And then we have small set of drawers to keep all your knickknacks and other small items. Um, okay, so does that mean the only thing I can carry in here is um, basic resources? But what about other stuff? Since we don't really have an inventory. Uh, I did get some berries. Um, do I have a... Oh, I do have a bar down here. So, hunger. Haha. -ha. And health. Okay. Nice. Well, let's see if we can do something here. Like I said, the second I um, took a little break, I forgot all about the... <laughs> all about the uh, the clicking thing there. Okay, well, let's look around. It doesn't seem like we have a map. At least it's not under M. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I have to hold down tab. You ha you can't just press tab. You apparently have to hold it down to close the inventory again. I wanted to see if we have... 
close inventory, edit mode, goal, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so no map. But that's okay. I don't actually mind that. Is this something we can... Yes. Ooh, that gives us fibers. Yes, let's, let's stock up on some of those. Just like that. Nice. Okay, and then we're gonna look around a little bit. There was a little bottle or something lying over here. I also noticed this. Ooh, oh, we get glass from that. Nice. I thought I saw another little bottle lying somewhere, but maybe not. Ooh, there's something up here. What is this? Uh huh. What does it say? Bridgewater Town. Oh, we have to repair it. Oh, I like this. Okay, so we're going to need lots of stone and a limestone. Where can we get limestone? Mm, near the water's edge, used for foundation, crafting, and decoration. Okay, so we need more stone and we need limestone. Ooh, this is cool. Yes. I like it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. That clicking is going to take some getting used to. Okay, maybe an axe would be better for this. Ooh. Okay, so now we got some other stuff. So where does that go? Is it in here? Yes, it is. So salvage metal, leftover scrap metal and mechanical parts found within barrels and throughout abandoned caves. Um, okay. Nice. It seems like there's so many things that you can actually... This is not something... Oh, that was leftover for that, from that crate. Uh, I'm so gonna get lost here because I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I didn't mean to hit the tree though. There we go. Okay, get some blueberries. So at least we have a little bit to survive on. And there we go. That one just gives us fiber just like these do. Okay. Then we have this place over here. Oh, old note. We followed the orders. The bridges have been destroyed and the second cave entrance demolished. We'll be heading back early in the morning. Why would you destroy the bridges and the second cave? Okay. So, yes, that's apparently some kind of, you know, kind of like a mystery. We're going to have to um, try to figure out what was going on here. Oh, okay. Try that again. Okay, so we got some wood from that, and then we have like this little bit of a hut here. Just wanted to see if it's something we can... Nope. Okay, but we could use this as a little temporary place if it starts getting light. Or getting light, getting, getting dark, right? So, hmm. Um, let's just try to look around a little bit here. Follow, Maybe follow the beach a little bit so we can see what is out here okay is this lime that could look like limestone right oh i missed <laughs> okay we got a little bit of limestone can we actually go swimming oh we can cool it doesn't really seem like we can dive down though and doesn't really show anything about losing energy hmm okay well i guess uh, oh how did i eat some of blueberries found in abundance yes oh, right click how did i eat these it told me something about that didn't it and now i forgot how to actually eat them um i put put them in here how do I... No? How do I actually eat? <laughs> okay, I put it down here because you can't really go to... Oh, okay. You can't scroll to number four. See, it, it goes back to one every time, but you just press four and then you can eat. Nice. Okay, there we go. Much better. Now we are full again. I have no idea how long the, the days are in this game, so we'll just see how it goes. I'm sure we want to go to that town so that we can maybe trade with some people. There we go. I don't know if they actually have any quests or anything for you, anything like that, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, now we have these little 
They still... No! Oh, we got a flower of some kind. Okay, and... <laughs> it does look cool when you time it right. Okay, let's see what those... Where did they go? Oh, they're in here. Oh, marigold. A bright yellow flowers found in grassy fields can be replanted in farms. Oh, so we have lavender. We have some wheat. We have roses. Grapes. Passion fruit. Pumpkins. Watermelon. Ah, cool. Cool, cool. Well, we kind of needed more of this, so that's what we're going to go for. So far, it's, it's a very, very chill. It's a very chill, very enjoyable. So, I don't know if I'm wrong about that, but I have a feeling the only place you'll encounter combat is in the dungeons. Which I don't really mind, because it just means that you have more control over it. I know some people really like if someone comes and attacks their base uh, in many games, but I don't really mind this. Then I can just chill out and relax with farming and building and gathering resources, and then when I'm in the mood for combat, I can go and, you know... Do some combat. Okay, that one we can't mine. Don't think we can mine this. No, it does kind of show a little icon when you mouse over things, I noticed before. Uh, which lets you know. See, like this, there's a little pickaxe. And if we can walk over this, we get some glass. There we go. It's already starting to get a little bit dark. And just like so. Cool. Okay, well, let's look around a little bit. We've kind of collected a little bit of everything. I wonder if this might be roses. No? No, I guess that was just some little flowers or something lying there. Okay, let's get a bit more of this. Okay, and I do like it actually shows you down there how many you have in total. So it showed I got 28 and it showed that I had 73. So you don't have to keep checking this all the time to see how many you have. Except 130 limestone. We need some more stone if we want to fix that bridge. Mm, but let's just try and look around a little bit more. We probably also want to collect some more wood so that we can um, actually build a place or at least start building a place so we have a place we can go back and sleep when we need to. There. Cool. Thank you. Oh, this must be lavender. The, this must be lavender, right? Yes. Okay, so let's just grab some of those. I like the look of the water here. That's pretty. Especially here in the, uh, in the late evening sunlight okay so we could get more clay right there but let's just try and move around a little bit see what's here that looks like okay these looks like they're roses so let's grab a few of those i have no idea how the respawning works if it's gonna spawn back or if it's like a one-time deal i have no idea i don't know how big this map is Oh, here we go. We are at the edge. Uh huh. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's crazy big. Okay, that looks like it is more limestone. See, now we're full of limestone, so I couldn't actually pick the last up. I assume it's just gonna despawn or maybe it will stay there i don't know until sometime when we come back oh there's a crate out here i'm sure we're gonna want to get this okay so we got some more metal that's good okay so it seems like you want to find things from this potentially from shipwrecks or something out in the um uh, out around the beach i was trying to see if i could find my way back to that 
Okay, here we have a little stream. Hmm. Because we did find that little shack, didn't we? Because it's kind of very dark now. So it might be a good idea. Okay, we have a little path here. I'm thinking maybe... Yes, right here. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we're here. This one actually doesn't really... Ooh, light. What is this? So apparently you can light it. Oh, we need some coal and then we can light it. Cool, but I don't think I've... Uh, what is this? Is this clay? The shape of it kind of looks like clay, but the lighting makes it look really dark as if it's coal. That's kind of cool. Maybe you can build more of... Okay, it's stone. It's stone, but that's fine. It's It would be cool if we can build more of those. Then you can kind of light off up these pathways so it's not so dark at night. That would be cool. But what I actually wanted to see was if we go in here and we decide to make a bed. There we go. Can we fit it in here? Um, how do I rotate? Ah. Oh, nice. It's a key I'm used to. Okay, so it can go there. Let's just have a bed here for starters, and then we are going to go right in here. It's not quite closed, but okay, so you can save here, but you can also sleep. Let's just do that. Ah, nice, and it actually saves when you um, sleep, but otherwise we can also just do that. So that's nice. You can use it to save, and otherwise I'm pretty sure you can save here, but then you also exit at the same time, either to the menu or the game in full. Cool, so we have our little house over here. You really have to learn to find your way around this place um, so that you can find your way back to sleep since we don't seem to have a map. But that's fine. I have... Oh, I'm not really hitting. There. Yeah. Okay. But I'm kind of thinking because I've seen some pictures that you can apparently build on the water and I feel like that would be kind of neat. Kind of building on stilts or something right along the water that would be kind of nice but i don't really know if i want to where i want to build yet so for right now i just kind of want to explore a bit and let's oh right we just have to press for need to get some more blueberries soon just want to try and figure out where we would want to settle down because i don't know if we want to settle down right next to the town or maybe we want to find a cave system or something and then settle down there because we might spend more time there going into the caves because there's probably resources in there that we can't find anywhere else right um and then um sometimes we might go to the town but i don't think it's the place i would go as often as i would go to the caves so that's why i would kind of like to know where the caves are There we go, and I don't know, maybe we have to get coal from the caves because I haven't seen any. All of this seems to be stones. Oh, I forgot to check how many I have. Oh, 89, okay. But we needed like 80 or something for that bridge. Mm, I don't know if it's the first thing we should be prioritizing. Maybe we should prioritize a house of our own, but... Hmm, I'm kind of thinking that it, oh, I'm not timing this correctly, <laughs> uh, that I would like to know what we can do in the cave or in the, in the game or in the town, so it would be nice to go there. I think we can trade some stuff. That would be likely, right? Oh, there's kind of a little, little makeshift bridge there. Oh, I didn't even continue so over here. Oh. Let's see. Oh, look at what we found. I don't think we're quite ready to... Uh, the ancient caves to do much of anything in here. Uh, because we don't really have a weapon. So I'm not sure this is a good idea. Oh, okay, but that's handy. Okay, so this is actually a weapon. I don't know, am I not supposed to use that for the... Um, just feels like the right thing. 
to use for plants. But I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do. But okay, we still have access to them here when you enter the cave. So that's handy. In case you haven't brought them with you, then you can kind of leave it at home, your weapon, and then you can just pick it up here or you hit further into the cave. Looks like maybe we're gonna have to repair something here. I don't know. Oh, use air rolls to jump over long. Oh dear. I'm the worst at this. You can jump further when air rolling instead of regular jumping. Run and jump forward after you've left the ground and trigger a roll. This will perform an air roll and propel you further forward. Oh man. I'm never <laughs> I'm so bad at that. Oh, that's no never gonna happen. Okay, well, you we might have to make it happen to progress in here. But I'm not sure I'm quite ready to do anything in the caves yet? Okay, we're full on stone. So let's just try and break this. Okay, we got some more metal. That's nice. But at least just this, just to check it out a little bit. Oh, we got what is that? Some coins of some kind. Oh, okay, so they just show up there. So four coins. Nice. Can we break any of these things? No. So we have an old table or something. Mm. Okay, so we can get back up if we can't get up, but we kind of have to progress that way. I have a sneaking feeling that's where it's going to get rougher if you go that way. Or maybe that's the only place we're going to find some enemies. So I'm kind of okay with not going there just yet. There we go. And nice. Oh, we got some coal now. Oh yeah, now we can light light those. Uh, oh, we also get stone from here. Cool, 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 cool. Let's try and go down here. Have a little sneak around. Okay, but we don't really need to mine anymore. So I'm thinking with if we go over here, we do have a small drawer to keep all your knickknacks and other small items. Which means there is storage, and oh yes, look at that, there's a wooden light post. We have some potted plants, uh, we have a rock and a table. Mm, okay, what do we need for this? I definitely need to cut down some more wood, and we need wood for this as well. We have a good, ah, only 42 fiber, we need more fiber as well. Um, what was it? I was thinking, yeah, since there is actually storage in the game, um, I'm thinking maybe you can kind of stock up on more than what, you know, if you have a big building project you want to do, then you could probably move, well, I don't know if that's how it works, but you could potentially move some of your, it doesn't actually seem like we can move these. Hmm. Like you can with the weapons, it's not like you can kind of feel like you can lift them up, but I was thinking maybe you could actually move them into storage and that way kind of stuck up for a building project or something without and then go out and get more stuff right so you kind of have a whole lot of stuff at home and then you can work on your building project because otherwise it's like you can only get that 150 and then do whatever you want to do and then you have to go out and collect resources again so i'm not quite sure how that works have a little bit of wood up there okay but i think we're going to try and find our way back to that bridge with the town. What is this? Okay, it doesn't seem like it's something we can interact with in any way. No. Okay. Well, that's fair. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not going towards the bridge at the moment, though. I'm going pretty much away from it. Just kind of curious how big this island is. Oh, there's something over here. Let's go and grab it. There, gave us some more glass. Uh, can we get any of this stuff out here? No, oh, doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Can definitely swim. I don't know if they have plans that you should eventually be able to get some of these resources in the water. 
Okay, there's another area over here. Wow. Okay, so it is fairly decently big. I think we're gonna try to start moving back towards the uh, back towards the town. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that before we end this a video. We are just gonna go straight through here. And over to the other side. And this is where the cave was. I don't know if there's only like one cave entrance or maybe there. They do say the caves, so maybe there's more places. Oh, look at this. We found a little place here. Can I? No, nope, I can't do anything with that. Hmm. Abandoned lumber cottage. A small cottage fit for a lumberjack wishing to live off the land. Has been abandoned for many years. The shack could be home to a woodcutting friend one day. Does that mean to a woodcutting friend? Does that mean I can enlist someone or something? Or do a quest and then someone can go and live here? Like a woodcutter? And maybe I can get wood from that so I don't have to spend so much time cutting down trees. That would be kind of neat. I don't know if that's the intention, but it could sound like it, right? Okay, I don't really want to skip these because they're a bit rarer to come by than the um, the other resources, right? So I feel like whenever we see this, we're going to have to try and get them. If I could <laughs> time my clicks right. Yeah. Okay, so we got a bit more metal. Let's keep going this way. Mm -hmm. And we can get a little bit more glass there. Nice, and a bit more there. And there. Just have to keep your eye open, eyes open because they're easy to overlook. Okay, what is this? Abandoned fishing shack. Once the perfect residence for an experienced fisher. Hasn't been lived in for many years with some love and care. This shack could be home to a fishing friend one day. Okay. Well, it says fishing friends, which makes me feel like it's not a place for me to take over. But it also doesn't give me an option to do something with it. So it gives me this idea that maybe there will be a quest or something. That we can do related to this, which I really like. I like the idea of that. That's cool. Okay, so... Oh boy, that leads even further over. But I think we haven't been that far over. So let's try and go up. I've lost track of where I've been. But I think we're on the right track. This is where we started out. So... We just need to go up a little bit further. And then we find a bridge. Yes! Aha! So, 80 stone and lime for the limestone. Let's do this. Oh, just like magic. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so we made it to Bridgewater. Cool. Good afternoon. What brings you to Bridgewater? I'm just passing through, thanks. Oh, what is this place? This is Bridgewater, traveler. My name is Gerald. I'm the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers have come to the island in search of its power few ever returned. This town is built by travelers such as yourself seeking new beginnings and the island is a paradise for those who dare to live on it. Just be careful, my friend. Ew, okay. A safe friend, okay. Nice. Oh, I like this. Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. I like these little planters. Okay, but we are kind of completely out of time here, guys. Um, so we're going to continue with this next time. Try and explore the town a bit. See if we can um, maybe figure out where to build. That would be nice. I'm still thinking it might be a better idea to build over near the over near the dungeon but it kind of depends on what we find here because if it's like you have to go and do quests and stuff then it might be not be the worst thing to kind of also live close to the town um uh, because you might want to go here pretty often to do those but we'll see we'll see what we find out so far i'm really enjoying this i do like the graphics it's really pretty it's very casual so far but i definitely do not mind that so uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys and as always, uh, do take care and happy gaming!